Based on very popular demand, we are releasing functionality in the Inventory++ app that has to do with the EBT. So the problem that happens today is when a customer comes at the end of the transaction, when you have put a number of items into the shopping cart and they present you with an EBT payment, you may have some items in the shopping cart that are not qualified for EBT, for EBT transaction. And at that point today, you'd have to take out or, or manually you know, split uh, that payment and, and, and that takes a, a while. So with Inventory++, Plus Plus, and I'm gonna show you in a minute, um, you can select ahead of the transactions, you can just basically select all of your items as EBT approved items and then turn on the EBT split and during the transaction we'll keep track of what item is what and you can actually see that in the shopping cart and then when you go to pay you can easily um, use native Clover split pay functionality um, to first pay for the EBT part and then pay for the other part. So let me go ahead and present this real quick. All right, to start off, let me show you first what the problem is with the EBT payment split. Um, you know, this is the register app and you can put, uh, you know, stuff in the, in, the, in the register like so. And let's say then you navigate to tobacco and you put a few tobacco products. And let's say this BT one is an item that's definitely not allowed. Um, and you know, let's say there's Marlboro, um, just a ton of different products. And then at this point, you're presented with an EBT payment, but not all of those items for EBT are allowed. And so you'd have to, gosh, I'm not even sure how people do this nowadays. Uh, but, but you know, you split cost, but you split by items. And you'd have to kind of go through this and manually, yeah, that's basically how you do it. You'd have to manually go through this very carefully and make sure that the items that you have select are about to choose to pay for are EBT items. And so that would be the manual process. Let me go ahead and save out of this. Now I'm going to open the inventory plus plus app. This is our apps by CSI works. And I'm going to go to, into the settings. And I'd like to just kind of zoom in and show you, you know, EBT settings, there it is. And the first thing we want to do is we want to turn it on like so. And then I already have like nine items selected, but let me show you. So for example, I want to not have, you know, meats are okay. Non-alcoholic beverages are okay. Um, lottery is not okay. Um, let's say that none of the tobacco items are okay. Um, basically, these are my three categories that are uh, that are EBT approved items, for example. Right, so I'm going to save. I got eight items in there and it's turned on. And so now when I exit out of this and I go back to register, in fact, let me just start a new register. And... All right, so I'm gonna put a meat product, and that's not, uh, that's an EBT product, right? And so there it is, it's an EBT item. See how it now shows you that it's an EBT product. And we're gonna go and select, let's say a tobacco product, which should fall outside of EBT, right? So let's grab, more. there it is, other items. Um, so far, so good. Um, and then we're gonna go here, you know, that's also not an EBT product. And then we're going to into T, uh, put that product. That's also other because uh, breads, I believe, was a product that we've approved. You know, that goes into EBT. And I want to point out that, you know, it's also shown on the uh, mini, mini, you know, it shows for the customer, this is EBT items, these are other items. Um, but in reality, what we're using is this guest uh, split. So um, you'll see that when we go to the pay screen, it tells you that EBT items were split and you have to click on split by guest to pay separately for EBT and non-EBT items. Um, and 
So basically you go split by guest and you can select EBT items and pay for those uh, via EBT or you can select other items and pay for those and see how easy it is because everything is already split and you just select which payment you currently are doing um, and this will significantly reduce your checkout time and help you with a uh, checkout uh, that you have to handle with the EBT and the non-EBT payments uh, where there are items that are EBT and non-EBT items. So Inventory++, plus plus, check it out. It has a ton of other functionality and we're just offering a general license, um, the one that requires payment, but all the other functionalities that are available in the Inventory++ plus plus are also become available to you. Uh, but EBT, I think, is a really valuable tool. Check it out.